Hey, what's up, people? This is Elder Tenshi, and I'd like to welcome you all to another episode of On the Brain. And I'm going to start things off today with uh, a new comic review. This right here is one of my favorite franchises, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been a fan of the Turtles since I was a kid, and I don't ever see myself stopping. <laughs> so, anyway, in this new telling of the story, you have a few... A few differences, but basically, basically, it's the same turtles that we all know and love, doing what they do best, kicking butt on the streets of New York, being a little goofy at times, but if you know the comics, if you know the original comic turtles, they take no prisoners. They just kick, you know, they find, they find who they're looking for, they kick their butt, they do it, they do it again the next day hardly any, you know, hardly any talking, except for slight narration, that's pretty much it, yeah, oh yeah, and they still love pizza, <laughs> alright, so, in the reboot, it starts out with the, all, you know, with the turtles, just, you know, just in the middle of a fight, right off the bat, starts off with a fight, right, and, you know, it, it's basically flashbacks on on top of flashbacks. They go from past to present day, and you find out, spoiler alert, that some of the stuff only happens three months after the turtles become who they are. Three or you know, like three like three or four months after what happened happened after they got mutated after the whole thing with Splinter after you know ev after everything, and that's how the book starts out. So. And so at first I was slightly confused until I realized, yeah, it is a reboot. What you know, what, how else? How else can you tell this story? It's been told. It's been told a you know few hundred times already, but they still managed to make it fresh because instead of having the turtles, you know, the turtles meet April O'Neil later on within you know within their time frame they meet her basically she knows them already she knows them already and what i know and what i and what i mean by that is she's an intern earning college credit at a laboratory that Baxter Stockman is working at so basically she's working for the people who created the stuff that who created the ooze that mutated the turtles in the first place. So, they already basically know each other. So in the first few minutes, you already get the you already get the feeling that something, you know, that something extreme is going to go down because Baxter Stockman being his it being his ignorant know it, know it all self is working for somebody which we don't, you know, which they'll tell you who, but I'm not I'm not going to spoil that for you, especially if you're a fan. I'm not spoiling that for you. And <clears throat> and one turtle is missing. Flashback to present day, you find out one turtle is missing. And what they're doing is they're trying to, you know, they're trying to find their brother. They're trying to find their brother. Found out he lost his memory. And then later on, you're introduced to Casey Jones. So, automatically, you got the fighting. You got a little bit of the origin, like right off, you know, right off the bat. And you have someone missing, so you gotta, so you gotta solve where the heck they are in the first place. You got, K you got Casey, you got Casey Jones being introduced in a, in a, um, and uh, what you call it? Not an off-character way, just sort of a, you know, just sort of an unexpected way, because these ain't the, these ain't the turtles from the, from TV. This ain't the 1980s cartoony turtles, and they're not. They're yes, they're clo they're closer to their, um. Uh, year 2000 counterparts but there's but they're grittier you know what i'm saying if you look if you look at the art style and the way the story is being told it's a lot grittier so i suggest if you're a turtles fan old and new pick up this book right now there are four volumes out i'm waiting on the fifth one i cannot wait to see what ha what happens next i am seriously nerding out over this book right now so i definitely suggest if you are a turtles fan or if you're just a you know, if you're just a casual comic reader, definitely pick this up. You will not be disappointed. And with that, I am Elder Tenshi. That was on the brain. Next comic review coming up will be the new 52's 
Static Shock. So be on the lookout for that. Peace and love. Bye.